Hi, I'm Gustav Gillian and I'm a client project manager at Vironova Biosafety, a part of the Vironova group situated in Stockholm, Sweden. We do virus validation studies for biopharmaceutical companies developing biologics. Why is it necessary to perform virus validations? Biologics, biologics are biological drugs of human or animal origin. These can be coagulation factors purified from human plasma or produced as recombinant proteins, or monoclonal antibodies and various biopolymers like heparin. It is mandatory that the production of any biologics is tested for virus safety as the raw material used may be containing infectious virus. Very clear studies are <clears throat> performed at two stages in the development of a new drug. First before phase one, and then more extensively before phase three. Prior to phase three, virus validations should demonstrate the capacity of the process to reduce a range of viruses with different physical chemical properties. This is done by testing two or more process steps. To obtain efficient virus reduction, early planning is important, that is to use safety by design. The panel of relevant viruses is assembled specifically for each validation study. It should model all viruses that may be present in the raw material. The relevant viruses consist of known virus, the specific model viruses, and the non-specific model viruses. The known virus is a pathogenic virus known to contaminate the raw material, for example, HIV and human plasma. In some cases, a known virus cannot be tested directly. This is the case for hepatitis C virus, which is difficult to grow in the lab. Instead, a closely related virus is used. This is the specific model virus. The third group is the non-specific model virus, which serves as a model viruses to safeguard against unknown viruses. These are examples of plasma-borne human pathogens and their models. GLP studies are performed in duplicate and include a panel of four viruses for recombinant proteins, or five viruses used <coughs> for the human blood products. The panel used should cover all types of viruses, enveloped or non-enveloped, as well as large and small ones. Those model viruses should also be as stable as possible, not to overestimate the reduction. The purpose of the variety of viruses in a panel is to show that the process can reduce viruses with different characteristics. If they all are reduced to a substantial degree, the process is robust and should be able to reduce viruses in general, also those that are still unknown to us. In the manufacturing process, dedicated virus reducing steps are often included. These do not contribute to the purification of the product, but serve as efficient and robust step to inactivate or remove viruses. Specific inactivation steps should be solvent detergent treatment as disrupts the viral membrane, low pH, or heat treatment. These steps are mainly effective on envelope viruses. The general virus remover method is non-filtration. The virus filter has the capacity to remove even small non-enveloped viruses such as parvovirus. The purification steps of the manufacturing process may also contribute to virus reduction, and regulatory agencies are keen to see the tested as well. Chromatography and precipitations are steps that can have good virus reduction potential and should be tested. The actual testing is done on downscale model of the manufacturing process. Correct downscaling is vital for reliable results and validated downscale models should be used in the virus reduction tests. Downscaling a chromatography column means 
Firstly, to reduce the diameter of the column while keeping the bed height intact. Secondly, the flow rate is decreased to, in proportion to keep the linear flow rate. This will keep the contact time constant. Thirdly, the protein load, that is the amount of protein per ml resin, should be kept within the limits of the manufacturing process. In process steps like solvent detergent, pH, or heat treatment, parameters like mixing efficiency and holding times are key factors in correct scaling. To obtain a robust overall virus reduction, at least two mechanistically different virus reducing steps should be tested. Each test, step should be tested with several different types of viruses. A virus reduction of at least four logs should be obtained in two or more steps. The testing should be done at the process parameter limit where virus survival is most likely. If a temperature span of 58 to 62 is allowed, the testing should be performed at 58 degrees. This is called worst case, condition, worst case conditions. To further probe the robustness of the virus inactivation steps, the kinetics are often studied, and the validation could also be performed outside the process parameter limit at 57 degrees in this example as shown in the figure. A very clear study is divided into four parts, protocol, pre-study, main study, and report. First, a protocol is written describing the downscale virus reducing steps, the starting material of each step, named as test protocol, and the viruses to be used. Next, the test article, that is the process material delivered by the customer, is evaluated for potential cytotoxicity to indicator cells and other types of interference with the virus detection. The results of this pre-study will guide the design of the main study. The actual virus reduction is measured in the main study, and finally, a virus safety report is written. In the main study, the process steps or test objects are analyzed one by one. The test article, which is the representative sample from the manufacturing process, is spiked with a virus that has been selected already mixed and then the sample is withdrawn. This is then load sample S0. The virus spike test article is then run through the downscale model of the process and optional samples are withdrawn. In the case of chromatography, the sampling should include product containing fractions, flow through, washes and more. To measure the virus concentration, the samples are serially diluted in 96 wells per age, each sample in eight parallel series. The dilution are transferred to another plate containing indicator cells that become visibly ill upon virus infection. The plates are incubated to allow time for the cytopathic effect to develop. And, <clears throat> and wells with infected cells are scored in light microscope. Finally, a logarithmic reduction factor is calculated comparing the virus concentration before and after the virus reducing step. In this example, the spike test article contained 10 to the 8 infectious virus particle, and the last product sample, SM, contained 10 to the 3. This means that the step tested could reduce the infectious virus particles by five logs from the product. When the main study is completed, the virus reduction values from the process steps tested are combined, giving an estimate of the 
or over viral reducing capacity. This is done for each separate virus. Finally, a report is written and sent to the customer. We welcome you to perform your virus clearance studies as Villanova by Safety. Please contact us via our website, villanova.com slash by safety. We are looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you for your time.